This is all I got. This is all I got. Don't take my baby, okay? I've been away from my baby for two months. <laughs> Paint the picture of systematic racism. I'm just going to say the, the uninvolved fathers has made it bad for the involved fathers. And yes, some of y'all are like, oh, he got the ugly cry face. I do got the ugly cry face. I'm sorry. Action. He got, man, it triggered me. Mm -hmm. He triggered me so much because yeah. he tried to attack poor fathers. What did he, he say? Didn't say? He didn't say poor. He said uninvolved fathers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uninvolved fathers is making it hard for good fathers. Yeah, he did say that. Mm -hmm. How, like, does accountability ever come into play? Like, me as a man, I have to make, like, I know that my every decision I make, it affects the people around me. Mm -hmm. And if, if I'm not calculated with my decisions, it can affect me in a very hard way. And I don't think that any man should be an economic prisoner to his baby mama or to his ex-wife or to whomever. Yeah. But there's ways to go about it than go on boo-hoo and start crying. <laughs> That's that's very very coochie. Oh man, I just feel like it was a cry for help. Like there is no constitutional rights in that courtroom. And, and you know, for for millionaires like Tyrese, Tyrese, Kanye West, uh, mm -hmm. all you other individual uh, Fifty Cent that pay millions of dollars mm -hmm. a year, instead of instead of just complying, how about you push back? You know, how about you like what other uh, groups, other demographics do? They fund the lobbyists and they go change the laws. Mm -hmm. If I was a whole entity to that magnitude where I'm worth millions and billions of dollars, I'm sorry. Everybody ain't about to get everybody ain't about to get it. Like nope. there is a risk assessment. <laughs> when you get to that place, yeah. I think that you have to be like a professional negotiator just to be in, in a professional actor or to, when you start yeah. making millions of dollars, you can negotiate. But that's the problem. Everybody doesn't look at themselves as entities. You should. No matter how much money you feel like you're worth, you should look at yourself as an entity. What do, do, Is my horniness worth? Like, like <laughs> it's not worth being laying down and fucking you just because I'm horny. I'm a whole entity, and the worth is absurd. He married these women. These aren't just yeah. like, he married these women. He put a ring on it and everything. Mm -hmm. and he went to court and got financially cashed. Nigga should have got a prenup. Oh my goodness. But these women, they beat the prenup also. Uh, Dr. Dre's uh, woman, she beat the mm -hmm. prenup. They gave mm -hmm. that woman so much money. Holy goodness. And then in the video, <laughs> so so like, because when we put, we want to be victims, mm -hmm. we, try to, we try to blame everybody. Mm -hmm. He blamed uninvolved fathers mm -hmm. uh he blamed his baby mama and he also tried to blame racism he started off by saying i'm not going to try to put the race card yeah i said how hell how can you play the race card when uh jeff bezos got divorced that woman got a whole bunch of money right billions upon billions of dollars <laughs> and you over there yeah. crying these niggas need better lawyers to make these prenups could you imagine if jeff bezos if he made a video like that and started crying he got <laughs> <laughs> his stock would go down immediately that woman took she took all that money and she went and got her a teacher <laughs> She funded a whole life and gave half the money away. I said, goodness gracious, that should tell you, right? Contractual agreements matter. They do. Like, the spirit of negotiation is important. Mm -hmm. I think that child support is probably the most important political issue for every man in America. Yeah. But I don't want to be divided based on economics. Mm -hmm. We don't have the spirit of collaboration. Yeah. I agree. I thank you so much for showing up and having this conversation Absolutely. with me. Absolutely. I have one. I have one mission. That mission is to build the most bestest nation in the whole history of the world, mm -hmm. and that only comes from a spirit of collaboration, people right. working with people, and that it goes from us having a conversation mm -hmm. to uh, relationships. If we ain't like this, then the whole nation is divided because we don't know how to love each other appropriately. Right. Division is a massacre. You hurt my feelings, and so since you hurt my feelings, I'm going to financially whip you. We're weaker when we are divided, and the government knows that, and that's yeah. why they just, it's a big, big plan. I think child support is a tool to destroy middle class and poor people, and then the people, the because it also affects individual, individuals at the upper echelon, mm -hmm. but they'll blame us as... As it's as like, yeah. like I did it to you. I didn't do that to you, Tyrese. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Nah, it's called self. I didn't make you uh, be <laughs> unfaithful or whatever you did for that woman to leave you. Right. I didn't make you mm -hmm. unattentive in your marriage. You should have looked at that prenuptial agreement and found like you you didn't look at the loopholes. I don't think that uh, falling out of love entitles anyone to anyone else's money. Right. I don't think having a baby 
shouldn't entitle anyone to anyone else's money. Right. How about you just pass a law that says, hey, both of y'all have to negotiate and raise this child together? Yeah, because everybody, like, the law and women want to say, oh, it's about the child, right? It's for the betterment yes. of the child. Is it really? It's not. Is it really? <laughs> because, cause, like, if you understand that you cannot financially, emotionally, or mentally raise a child, then give the child to the other parent who can. Yeah. And if you want, like, and it, make sure that you have a good relationship. Hey, communicate honestly, right? Mm -hmm. Like, don't put your child in a good position. Hey, mommy ain't got that money right now, but daddy does, and I'm gonna see you every weekend, baby. I promise. Yeah, every weekend, whatever for the truly what's a better man with the child. And then when you get the court system involved into family matters, it just blurs a lot of fucking lines. It doesn't even blur the line. You're using a, a political weapon to hold me hostage to mm -hmm. your feelings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I think that because I think you owe me something, I'm going to use the government and make you give me what I want. Come it's, here. It's vengeful. Mm -hmm. It's a hateful tactic, it's and hateful. it makes me so angry because we won't we won't have an honest conversation about how we defeat these nasty, nasty tools of oppression in America. Right. And Tyrese, like you should be, your acting classes should have taught you how to uh, argue your position <laughs> more better. They taught him how to pursue um, emotion, elude, exude emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, all those tears you shed, and you could have, man, I, he probably wrote some of that, too. Mm -hmm. It was probably a little bit scripted. I mean, I, it's hard for me to take an actor seriously. Right. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know what their occupation That's is. That's what they yeah. do for a living. I get it. They change characters just like that. Yeah. All of them. And we uplift these people so much. We look at these <laughs> These pretend individuals and we call them our heroes. Man. There's some levity. There's some levity to it, though, right? Like a little bit. Like, yeah, he's a hurt person that is going through a whole court case, being forced against his will. There, you know, I'm not saying he wasn't faking the phone. But he was okay. Under, understand the situation <laughs> and, and just uh, do something to improve the situation, right? Yeah. Like that's the, that's one of the fundamentals of masculinity. Mm -hmm. Like even when uh, I'm facing extreme odds i find a way to navigate and get the thing done yeah like back then it was to go kill a, a big old mammoth or something right mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. i could feed my family right now economically it's about negotiation it's about political negotiation in right. order to go kill the big fat mammoth well why was she not wanting to negotiate because he said something about not seeing his child for like two months like what did she claim that he did. I don't know the specific case, but I know um, that when you have uh, the backing of the government, you got these big ass guns behind you. Uh, it's just like that movie. Uh, uh, don't don't get caught drinking your juice in the hood. What's the name of that? Oh movie? yeah yeah yeah. When he came out with all them guns, it was yeah. like, <laughs> do we have a problem? <laughs> yeah. That's what every woman in America does when uh, she goes. Do to, we got a problem? Do a child support system, huh? Yeah. She ain't got to negotiate with you about nothing. Let me remind you. This is what we gonna do when that's it. Who runs the world? Hey, girl? my my life is for a, a real life. I told y'all for Easter, baby mama kept my kids for two weekends. Yeah. I get a call in the middle of the week. She says, "Hey, I got something else to do this weekend." That goes another weekend. Yeah. I say, "Hey, hey, boys, I love you so much, man. I'll see y'all next weekend, huh?" Mm -hmm. Every other weekend turns into every other other weekend. Right. The other other weekend daddy, huh? And Tyrese, you crying. Nigga, I could cry right now. I'm in front of a camera right now. I want to boo-hoo so bad. Nigga, my heart is broken right now. Mm -hmm. I understand. I want right. to be empathetic. You said compassion. You don't need compassion. I live the exact same life, but I ain't got millions of dollars to cry on. Mm -hmm. you, finna, yeah. you finna go in and get on a jet and go and put your wang tang in another pretty broad. <laughs> To let out your frustration. I promise he's gonna have another baby. Oh my god! Yeah, he there's got no two accountability of them. again. Not being a uh, a smart about your fucking entity. Fool me once, shame on me. Yeah. Once you fool me, I can't be fooled again. I mean, you know what? <laughs> if you fool me, I'm always the fool. Goodness gracious. He brought up a good point though. He's like, they can't tell the 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 real from the fake, and he he said he was talking about the government, but there's no filtration system to divide who should and who shouldn't some people think they should be rewarded for being a good parent he thinks that he should be rewarded for being a good dad and then he's gonna mm -hmm. look down on bad dads hey look man everyone does not have the same emotional or mental capacity so right. some gentlemen are really have the spirit of man fuck those children mm -hmm. because i had those children with a woman i didn't want to have children with mm -hmm. fuck it was an accident right i know it hurts some people's feelings i know that some people are watching this video right now you know for yeah. sure you're an accident 
it, you know it. You know for sure you're an accident. It's not your fault. Man, and, and some of you individuals mm-hmm. right now, you know your mama's a piece of shit. It, and it, it fucking sucks. <laughs> but what do you do? There's so many things that already suck. What does that mean? That you go and hold a knife to somebody's throat and make them treat you better? She said, I'm not going to touch that. I need to touch that because um, <laughs> the the poli- the the child support system is so gendered in mm-hmm. favor of women right. and we just act like they have no autonomy over their whole body. Yeah. I'm like, Hey, unless someone grabbed you and put you in the bed mm-hmm. and then did the thing to you, right. how in the world can you possibly hold that person hostage because of, of a decision that you made? Yeah. It's contradicting. It's, it's victimhood, but then you want, you want to be empowered as a woman. You want to say, uh, what is that motto? What, what was the woman doing? What's that whole model that they were doing? Me Too? or Yeah, the Me Too movement. Okay, like you want to be empowered as a woman, but then you claim victimhood. I just feel like it's contradicting. I want to be uh, completely uh, empathetic to everyone's situation. No one should ever be mm-hmm. violated in any way, right? Right, right. If I put myself in a situation where I, where I get victimized, for example... I live off of MLK. This place, it does have some uh, some violent people who will rob me if I want to be boastful and walk around with jewelry on. Mm-hmm. And so if I decide to go to the corner store where I know those guys got them guns mm-hmm. and I go in there with a big old chain on and a big ass mm-hmm. watch on. Mm-hmm. Antagonizing. And, 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 then, and then I get robbed and I start screaming, they robbed me, they robbed me. Yeah. You could call me a fool, right? Mm-hmm. And respectfully to every beautiful woman in America, every beautiful woman in the world, if you make the decision to walk into an enclosed space with a person who's physically more dominant than you, who has made it clear that they want your good old Gina, right? and they decide to violate you, that person should go to jail and be prosecuted to the full extent of the law, and someone should have a conversation with you to make better decisions and not yeah. put yourself in a situation to be violated. Yeah, be, be more accountable. Be accountable. Don't always project and point the finger like, it's your, it's your fault, it's your fault. No, nah, some of it is yours. The state of victimhood is absolutely positively nasty. Yeah. I don't like the way the political system is treating me. I don't like the way the child support system mm-hmm. is treating me. I don't like how much power my baby mama has on me. Mm-hmm. Hey, but instead of crying in the video, I'm going to ask every man in America to uh, to join me in the 10 million man march. Uh, we're going to uh, pick the date. I'm going to set the date. And across America, we're going to march to our capitals and say, we're not going to take it. We're not going to be financial prisoners to, to the other sex anymore. Yeah. I mean, stand up for your rights. Like, why not? I watched, I watched everybody rights. do it. Mm-hmm. We have so many protected classes as a black person. That's like a protected class. As a woman, that's a protected class. Mm-hmm, if, mm-hmm. if I want, if I, right now, if I say I'm a woman and all of a sudden that's a protected mm-hmm, class, mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. in an instant, I'm protected by yeah, law. Yeah, yes, for sure. But men in America who go to work every day have no economic political protection whatsoever yeah and they should but that's what i was learning like there are no constitutional rights in public law and that's where that's where it's fought Turn, turning men into second class citizens yeah <laughs> right and we need you like from the beginning of time like you know people i had a girl tell me like you can't say child support is slavery we need you too right we need each other and to act like that's not a real thing is like why are we running away from reality because we live in delusion right now (laughs) yeah there's a lot of fuck shit happening yeah it's it's such a nasty ass conversation Mm -hmm. because we we refuse to accept the the objective reality uh as a black man i almost want to blame all this confusion on black people because as we fought our struggles, we looked at other black people and they, if, they, if they could talk good or had a little bit more money than we had, mm-hmm. they would say, oh, they ain't black. <laughs> yeah. This gentleman could be as black as Wesley Snipes and you'll right. say he ain't black. Right. Because I don't because I don't fit whatever you have in your mind about a black person is. Mm-hmm. I don't behave the way you want me to behave. And so, so I'm not black. Right. And then we do it. Then we emasculate men. And be like, hey, you, you don't you don't fight hard enough. You don't talk tough enough. Mm-hmm. So you ain't no man. Right. And so if I'm not black, what does that mean? The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.